Deluxe Paint on the Amiga is my all-time favorite graphic suit for making pixel art. Uh, on uh, this week's episode of uh, This Week in Retro, they mentioned a new program. Um, that is a clone of Deluxe Paint named Pi D Painter. I wanted to have a look and see if it's uh, compatible and if I can uh, start a, a picture in Deluxe Paint, save it as an IFF and continue working on it in Pi D Painter and the other way, back and forth. So let's have a look. So before we dig into Pi D Painter, I wanted to make a copy uh, of a picture I have in uh, Deluxe Paint. To be sure I don't destroy anything, let's blur that. ID Painter is available at GitHub. Um, you can uh, uh, either uh, clone their uh, Git repo or you can simply download the zip. Uh, in the repo there is a installing txt that uh, lets you know uh, dependencies to start it. So what I did was I installed uh, Pygame and NumPy. Uh, and uh, here they tell you how to do it in Windows if you use Windows or Mac. So I cloned the uh, PyD Painter into a folder and let's simply start it. Let's keep this out of the way. It start in a window, not a full screen, but I guess that's how most uh, programs on Linux and Windows etc. behaves. Um, it seems to be some kind of CRC emulation effect. Let's first get rid of that. And okay, so it's uh, this button. Uh, it was hidden um, over to the right. And if I toggle it once, it has some kind of blurring effect. And if I toggle it once more, it's very sharp. So it's a good way to uh, get a feel on how it will look on a CRT monitor. So I, I like to have that option, but I, I, will, I will turn it off. So let's open the picture we saved in the Lux Paint. I have the folder here. It was in demo for graphics own work in progress and I called it robot deluxe paint IFF and that worked as expected. Let's let's look around. a bit. 
we do it wherever it is. I now just to demo it. Don't, this is not a how to make awesome pixel art video, it's just a test of the software to see how compatible it is. And everything looks exactly like the looks paint. The menus are the same. We have the Yes, everything is the same. It does look and yes, look and behave exactly like the looks paint. I'm used to having it full screen, so I, g I guess one can. the window full screen ish but it's not the same so let's check if we have a full screen no no that's just scaling we have a pale button Oh, so I can toggle between uh, the pixel size. Okay, I like that. Okay, let's try to save it and open it in the Lux Paint. So I will save this as robot. ID paint. Hmm. Nice about screen, and and I love that I use the GPL license for it. Make sure she, make sure it stays open source. Nice. So let's open the Lux Paint. And see if we can open the image we just saved. Here we have it. Robot Pi D Paint. Yes, I want to change into that format. Yes, that worked. And uh, as you can see, the menus. Are the same. So I like this. Um, will I change the looks paint for PyD Painter? I don't think so. But I will try to use it as my daily pixeler for a while and uh, consider it. Maybe it can replace GraphX 2, which I've been used yeah, in the last I know, 10 years or so using Linux. Uh, as my main computer. So maybe. At least it's very promising and uh, I think I think it did. Uh, who is it? He or she did a very good job making this. So I will definitely keep my eye on this and test it a lot and see if I if it's stable if I run into any problems etc and I will if I run into anything I will of course uh, give them a bug report so they can fix it and maybe if I find some strange things uh, with workarounds I will uh, write it in 
the comment section of this video. So just a short video looking into Heidi Painter and it looks very compatible and behaves just like the looks paint. Uh, uh, I urge you to give it a try. I think I think yeah, software like this it's uh, a way to uh, make people have a try at all their software without going into all the fuss around emulation etc and give them yeah, so give them an easy way in into uh, into the way we uh, made graphics back in the days before artificial intelligence started making our graphics for us but that's another discussion have a wonderful sunday it's not friday for once